Mompox, an unlikely city set amid some of the largest swamplands in South America, hub of the Spanish gold trade and first city in Colombia to declare independence. After victory, its fortunes changed. The river that was its lifeblood shifted course, and as trade dwindled, the city fell into a deep sleep. Yet its silversmiths kept working. For the last 230 years, they have been perfecting their craft. The Tres Palacios family still works out of their historic shop in Mompox, using many of the same tools that their ancestors used. Today, Roberto Tres Palacios and Cesar Pacheo are making sets of butterfly earrings. Silver filigree is the art of shaping and layering fine wires to make incredibly intricate pieces. And it all starts with silver wire. First, the raw silver is melted down in a crucible and molded into an ingot. After cooling, an antique press is used to begin the long process of stretching the ingot transforming it from a bar of metal into a long silver thread. Once it is too fine to be worked in the press, it must be pulled. The silversmith files down one end so it can pass through the draw plate, then begins the laborious process of pulling it by hand. Before the press came along, this method was used for the entire process, using brute strength to squeeze the silver through a small hole and shrinking it by a tiny bit each pass. The Thrace Palacios family has a long history of gold and silversmithing. At 77, Roberto Thrace Palacios is the family patriarch and master jeweler. La joyería Monpo tiene más de dos siglos. Y la joyería más bien es por familia, por el lado de mi mamá, por los Tres Palacios, joyero bastante, bastante joyero. The city of Mompox is just as storied. In a time when there were barely any roads, the Magdalena River was the lifeblood of the region. The wealth of the continent flowed down its currents and across the ocean to Europe, while manufactured goods came the other way. Mompox was perfectly sighted to be the hub for this trade. Founded in 1540, it was far enough from the coast to be safe from pirate attacks and the tons of gold and silver flowing into the city led to the establishment of the royal treasury a few years later. The art of filigree had come to Spain with the Moors and spread to Mompox from Spain's main ports in Andalusia. It found fertile ground and soon there was such a thriving jewelry industry that Mompox became known as the city of gold. Despite all its wealth, the city was far from content. It was a hotbed of rebel activity and the first city in the country to declare independence from the Spanish crown in 1810. Revolutionary hero, Simon Bolivar, recruited some of his first fighters here and credited them with the revolution's success. But independence was not kind to Mompox. The course of the Magdalena shifted west and the shipping, so crucial to the city's success, went elsewhere. Mompox's colonial past and tropical heat left it neglected by the elites in the mountains. Not much has changed since then. Most of the houses are hundreds of years old, and the farmers still bring in their produce by canoe. 200 years later, the jewelers are still smithing, and with his wire ready, it's time for Cesar to start making his butterfly earrings. Cesar follows Roberto's designs, making sure each piece is exactly to measure. He cuts out and carefully bends wire for the outer form of the butterfly. With all the pieces lined up, he delicately applies a small dab of flux to join them. A foot-powered torch is then used to fuse the pieces in place. At the bench next to him, Roberto is working on the butterfly's decorations. The lower wing will be filled with these caracoles, which are one of the main elements of filigree design. Each one is carefully made by hand before being joined together in a strong but light mesh. For the upper wings, Roberto uses a different technique called panderos. He grabs the end of the silver ribbon with a special needle that has a fine slit on it. Pressing it firmly against the bench, he winds the ribbon into a perfect circle. The final step is the post. Each one carefully hammered to make sure they are as comfortable to wear as they are pretty to look at. And with that, the earrings are complete. 
one small piece of silver embodying hundreds of years of tradition. I work with artisans like Roberto and Cesar to bring their work to the U.S. so they can continue making the crafts that are important to them and their communities, and to provide opportunities for the next generation to do the same. You can find Roberto's and other artisans' work at lostcanyonimports.com.